So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so first of all click on start lab and open the cloud console incognito window now here basically you have to sign in using the username one so just copy the username like this paste over here hit enter and just for the password also come to the lab instructions just copy this password now this lab is a little bit tricky so you have to pay attention to each and every steps whatever i do so just click on i understand Now here it is starting. So first thing is that we have to just activate the cloud shell, right? So we'll activate the cloud shell. You have to just click on continue and authorize yourself, right? You have to just click on continue and authorize yourself. And once the session is live, in the description box of this video, I have shared one GitHub repository. So just check it. Come over here. First of all, we will initiate the SSH session. So just initiate it. It will look like this. And if you get error, just rerun the command again. Right. So now, once it is completed, wait for a few more seconds. Yes, it is ready now. Come again, run the second command. Now, from here, you need to pay the attention. Okay, pay attention to the video. Now, here you can see. Wait for a second. You have to just type Y and hit enter. Now, you need to click on this URL. And from here, you have to select this username. Basically, lab username it is. Now, click on allow. Sorry, continue. And then, just click on allow. Wait for a few seconds. It's loading. Just click on allow. And then, copy this one. And just paste on your cloud shell. And just hit enter. Now, you are basically signed in, right? Here we have to choose any other zone as per the selected one. So first of all, wait for some time. Wait for the property to get updated. It's taking some time, so wait for it. Now here you can see our default zone is your center one. It might be different for you. So you have to choose any zone listed from here other than your central one which is highlighted on the top you can see this is your zone you have to choose any one from the list so just click on that or just you can drag your mouse cursor and copy it or you can type it also now you have to just hit enter now from here you have to just type two you have to just type two number first of all check the score for task number one and two just check the score and you can see we got the score for this particular task now just type two number and hit enter now here basically you have to type user in small letters small case you can see u s e r 2 and then just hit enter make sure it is correctly mentioned now it will take some time now here you need to pay attention we have to just make some modifications so just wait for some time and from here you have to just cross verify the student id from the lab instructions here you can see if it matches just type 2 and hit enter now the main thing is that once you selected the student id it will be def default basically visible by default now here we have to just select the project id so project id here you can see here multiple values are here so just copy the project id one and just paste over here on any notepad and cross verify whether the project id is mentioned on which number one or two you have to just type that number here you can see it is mentioned in one number in my case it might be in second number in your case also so you need to just check like this so we have to select the project id one you can see all things are correct you have to just copy this basically you don't have to copy basically once you have verified the project id you can just click the number basically we have to select project id one only okay I am not saying about the number, I am saying about the project ID 1. In lab, we have two project ID, so you have to just select the one. Now from okay, here, basically, basically you have to click on this link. You can see, open this link here, you have to open it. And just, let me see, come over here, wait for a few seconds. So from here, basically you can see the this username okay you have to just copy this username basically it is compute engine default service account remove this unwanted pop-up first of all and then copy this username just copy it and click on manage resources like this and from here you have to just select the second project id you can just verify
to the lab instruction and verify the username basically the project id in case you have any confusion now click on add principal and just paste the service account email which we have just now copied and for the role we have to select owner role so just come over here click on the basic and just wait a second click on owner and just save it once it is done it will take few seconds so you need to wait for it now once it's done type y and hit enter on your cloud shell now just wait for it to get completed and here basically again we have to export some of the values so just stay tuned so now here basically we have to export the username too so copy the username like this now the next thing is that we have to export the project id too also so just copy it like this and hit enter now for the vm zone how will find the vm zone this is the main thing you need to understand so from here you can just come to the bottom or you can just use the control f and find zone and let me show you this method only try to do as i am doing because it will be easier because chances are there there may be multiple zones and you may face some kind of issues because sometimes what happens they update the vm zones also so just come down like this here you can see copy carefully make sure there is no extra space either on the front or back and just paste it and hit enter now just wait for these command to execute and once it's done we'll be done with the lab guys for other remaining lab free courses and skill badges you can always check the description box of this video do like the video and subscribe subscribe the channel thank you guys have a great day ahead so now let's check the score and if you are unable to see the score you can just navigate to that particular checkpoint or just refresh the browser now all the 56 plus skill badges are available on the description box just check the sheet and complete it as up thank you guys have a great day